All right, so one of my recent recent projects was this 3D wallpaper that was meant to look like beadboard from Wayfair. But the issue was that I, ha I found this really big air bubble that was driving me insane. So what I was doing is I took a box cutter and I cut along the lines of the beadboard so that it would be easy to conceal it. And I was cutting along the entire length of the air bubble. That way all of that air could get out. Because um, if you didn't cut it, because I had already like painted over it and stuff, I there was no way for that air to get out of it. So now I am going to try to push that air out with this is something that tool I'm using is something if you've ever put up like peel and stick wallpaper or anything like that it's just something that helps you smooth out air bubbles while you're putting those on so um that's what I was using to try to squeeze all the air out And it was being a little difficult, so I, I realized that I had to cut further down to get that full air bubble out at the bottom. Um, and then I wanted to lift that part up at the top because there was one part that was sticking to the wall, but I needed to get under it to put this wallpaper adhesive so and if I didn't put more adhesive all it was gonna do was keep going back to the shape that it was in the air bubble so I needed to get under there somehow so that under the flaps I could put this wallpaper adhesive and I, I put it on both sides and once you put that in that helps keep that wallpaper into the new position that you want it to stay in without their bubble and I'll use this same tool that I used earlier to smooth out the air bubbles on top of it now that there's also glue and that'll help lock it into place And as you can see, the air bubble is pretty much gone. So it was, I'm glad it's gone and I hope this helped.